So please, a warm California welcome for our great United States Senator, Barbara Boxer. we're fighting each other. I said, you guys just don't get it. They have a storyline. Their storyline is that we're not united. And I want to ask you this morning, and I want you to yell it so loud at all those press cameras out there that talk to me about that the whole thing here. Are we united and are we going to elect Barack Obama? so touched because I look around this room and I see um, why I got to be a United States Senator, not once, not twice, but three times. And it's because of you, it's because of your commitment, it's because you stick with me through thick and thin. And we've had some thick times and we've had some thin times. And we've been there together. Well, we only have how many more months of this administration? Four more months. And if we could survive it, Hilda, uh, <laughs> Hilda Solis, my buddy over there in the house, I love her. Um, we'll survive it and then we'll have a new America and one that really appreciates its greatest resource, its people, and begins to invest in its people. You know, when I think about the $12 billion a month that is being spent on Iraq, that's $5,000 a second being spent on Iraq being spent to rebuild Iraq when they have a surplus because of the high price of oil. And I ask you, isn't it time to rebuild our country, rebuild our falling infrastructure, our bridges, take care of our energy so that we have energy independence? Didn't Hillary give a great speech oh, last yeah. night? Isn't it fantastic? cable stations. I think they're on another planet. They said, she should have said more about Barack. Now let me just say something about this. This race isn't about, at the end of the day, Barack Obama, whom I adore. It's not about Joe Biden, whom I adore. It's not about any particular individual. It's about the American people, and Hillary Clinton was so clear about that. She took that issue on. She said, did you vote for me because of me, or did you vote for me because you care about the people, you care about the veterans, you care about health care, you care about the environment, you care about energy, you care about a world at peace. Well, clearly, we had two extraordinary candidates, and both of them have shattered the glass ceiling for everybody. And we should be proud as we unify proud as we organize and proud as we take back our country. Um, let me just say, regards from Senator Feinstein. She had a horrible uh, experience in, in, in breaking her ankle and she is in pain um, and she is just so regretful that she couldn't be here. But I promised her that I would send you her love and her regards and she looks forward to getting back out there uh, as we campaign in the fall. And I will tell her that you gave her a warm applause. <laughs> well, I have to say just a couple of more things, because you know I'm a senator, it's hard to speak, too, too short a speech. Last night when you welcomed me onto the stage, was a wonderful moment. I want to thank you so very much for that great round of applause you gave me as I came out following the great Barbara Mikulski of Maryland. And following me <coughs> were the rest of the Democratic women who could actually be here. We have Patty Murray's daughter got married, so she had to be at the wedding. And Diane had her ankle and Hillary was on tape, so we had eight of us there. But I, I think it's important to note what we have accomplished 
since we took over uh, the Senate by only one vote. And since Nancy Pelosi became the Speaker of the House, our own wonderful Nancy Pelosi. Despite, despite the two oil men in the White House, despite the veto pen, we managed to raise the minimum wage after 10 long years. We managed to pass a GI Bill of Rights to treat our veterans right when they come home. And by the way, John McCain, John McCain worked against Jim Webb on that bill. And only at the last minute did he support it. We accomplished a lot. We saved Medicare from a 10% cut to physicians. They would have dropped out of the program. We wouldn't have had a Medicare program. And Ted Kennedy came back to the United States Senate to cast that 60th vote, even when his doctors said, don't do it, Ted. It's dangerous for your health. And wasn't he extraordinary when he came to speak to us? These are the things that keep us all going. I know we're tired. We're getting up early. We're talking. We're organizing. We're working. And in the evening, a couple of us are going to a couple of parties. <laughs> Stu and I, we just go back to the hotel, to be honest with you. But here's the point. What's keeping us going, and keeping us going strong, is our love of this country. You know a lot about me, but sometimes you forget that I was born into a family where my mother never even graduated from high school because at age 16, she had to go and work for her family because her dad had emphysema. And she was the youngest child, and she had to go and work. And my mother, as brilliant as she was, never got that high school education. And her daughter is in the United States Senate. Is this a great country or what? Or what? My father went to college at night, he went to law school at night, but both of them, both of them knew if they worked hard, their kids could catch the dream. And that's what this is about. That's why I was so touched by Michelle Obama and her great American story. Wasn't she magnificent? And what we'll find is, what we'll find is, that in our party, this is what unites us. We're a big tent, but we believe in three things. Hope, opportunity, and fairness. That's the Democratic Party that we know, that we love. We're not fighting each other. We're fighting for the American dream and the California dream. So I just want to say to all of you, when we go home, the work just begins. We know this election will be decided in a handful, two hands full, of battleground states. And you know what they are. Name a couple. Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico. Shout out, shout it out. Ohio, Virginia, go. Missouri, New Hampshire. You know what you're sophisticated. And we know what we need to do here in California is we need to just make sure we cover our bases. Everybody's there and Barack and Joe, Joe Biden. Isn't he a great pick? He's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful senator. And he connects with the voters we need to connect with. But we need to make sure California is good and safe, and we will. And then we got to give ourselves a little time to concentrate on those battlegrounds. Each of us should pick the state that we want to kind of adopt. It doesn't mean we have to go there. It means we have to talk to people who are there. If we can go there, fine. And I will tell you, this is where the election is going to be won, in those battlegrounds. So my friends, thank you for being with me from the minute I started running for the United States Senate to the present time. In 2010, Art's right, they're coming after me. Let's get ready by winning in 08. We'll win in 2010. We'll have 60 Democrats in the United States Senate. Nancy will have a bigger majority, and we will have Barack Obama and Joe Biden in the Oval Office working to restore the American dream and bring peace, lasting peace to this world. Thank you so much. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you.